Yes, I'm Geneviève Goupil. I'm an ESL teacher. Uh, this is my 12th year of teaching and I'm teaching at CSVM. Um, to understand uh, this activity that we did today with recap, uh, we have to know that the students read a novel. They're grade six regular students with two hours a week and we read the novels that echo in the thousand paper cranes. After they read the book, we did a lot of comprehension, writing, talking, obviously. But the, what I wanted to focus on was appreciation, which is something that in ESL, we don't often have the time or the occasion or the opportunity to um, assess or even give feedback on or evaluate. So my objective uh, with this uh, recap project was that students could tell me something about the book with a specific question that was covering both comprehension and appreciation. And I wanted them to use another way of writing because sometimes in writing, because it's a second language, I, I feel like I wasn't getting that appreciation, that little, that little oomph more that they could use, that they could tr transmit while they were talking. So basically, the um, recap application or website is something that, was, that could help them talk, express how they felt about the book uh, with that specific question without having the pressure of writing. Okay. So how we did it is uh, they read the book. I explained to them how you can express your opinion uh, different ways. I, I taught them about the Oreo technique, opinion, reason, um, example, opinion. And then I talked to them about how to prepare your notes. So graphic organizers or point form lists. And then in groups, in groups of three, the, the class right before today, they, uh, they had a discussion with other students and they were able to share their answers so that when they come from the computer and they tell me their answers on recap, they already have, uh, they already had feedback on their own answers. So they were more comfortable. And then when they sit and they turn on the program and they start recording, they go ahead and tell me their answers. So the three steps, were to recap, the three steps were um, learning how to formulate and how to express your opinion about a specific question, talking about it with other students, and then using recap to respond to the question and send it to the teacher. So the activity that we did today um, was set up so that students who were using the computers uh, were using the recap uh, website app and uh, they were answering a question um, on the, the computer that I get after and I can listen to their answers. While we had four or five students doing this, the rest of the class was uh, working on a personal project of a poster that they were creating for uh, as if they were asked to create a poster for the movie of the book that they have just read. So uh, the objective here was that I could help the students who would have problems with technology or the website or Wi-Fi or whatever, I could be available because I didn't need to help others as much because this was something they could be doing on their own and that they would need my assistance so much. Okay. Because they were doing it in, in groups of four, but obviously they were not all done at the same time, I told them, this is the class list, they know their student numbers. So if you see that you are number one, two, three, four, and then you're number two, student number two and you're done, well, go get student number five. So I don't have to be the one saying, it's your turn, it's your turn, because they're in grade six and autonomy is something that we obviously want them to do, to get or to develop. And uh, this is one way that we can do it with the computers, with this set, set up. So it's like, it's not stations, it's one station, but they manage it. She looks nice and uh, she needs company life and I'm a good friend. So, I don't know, I, I'd probably be a friend with, with her. And um, because she's sad and she's sad and she had no good moments and it's bad that she can't run and I'm here for comforting her. Well, using Recap in the classroom had, um, I think it has a positive impact on students because in the first place our students in, uh, especially in Cycle 3, are using technology a lot in school and obviously at home, so it's something that talks to them. 
And uh, it was, they really enjoyed reading a novel in English and they were really proud of themselves and it integrated something that they're really comfortable with, which is technology. A lot of my students were proud and happy to help me out and to show me, you know, this is it, this, and that, that to show me that they can understand because everything was in English, that they knew what it meant next, respond, and all the, the vocabulary that they knew and they were comfortable with. I think uh, it made them feel secure and it made them feel competent, which is something that we all aim for, students and teachers. And uh, well, this experience uh, made me feel competent too. So I think it was a win-win situation for everybody.